you can look at Bible characters and wonder why God isn't with you like he was with them. So you have stories of people like Moses, um, who God spoke to as a friend, or people like Elijah, who was able to do amazing things for God. But one of my favorite characters is Joseph. Now, most of us know the Joseph story quite well, but I think when we come to Joseph's story, we don't really think about what's actually happening. Like Joseph starts off being the favorite son of his father, Jacob, and that causes a problem with him and his brothers. And so his brothers decide that they're going to get rid of him, and they end up, after a kind of long story, selling him into slavery in Egypt. And he goes down to Egypt all by himself, away from his family. He used to be privileged, the one who his father always loved and doted on. And now he's somebody's slave. And after a while of being in Egypt, things start to go really well for him, and he gets to the point where he is now running the household of Potiphar until Potiphar's wife messes him up as well and accuses him of something he's deliberately tried to avoid. So after that, he ends up in prison. And after spending a while in prison, he begins to do well in prison again. And then eventually some people come down and he helps them out in interpreting their dreams. And one of them works for the king. And as he's going back to the king, Joseph says to him, please remember me, tell the king what's going on. And the man promises to, and then he completely forgets until the king has dreams of his own. Now, up to this point, this is absolutely years of Joseph's life. He's gone from being his father's favorite son to being firstly a slave. Secondly, after being a slave, he then ends up in prison. And then after being in prison and him helping people, he's just left there, almost forgotten about. And what I find really interesting about the Joseph story is really his attitude. Because I think there have been, there are so many times in his own story where he could have just decided, you know what, God, I've had enough. Like, this really isn't fair. I was at home, things were going really well. My family, you know, some of them didn't get on, but hey, that's like every family. But my dad loved me. And I end up being sent to be a slave in Egypt. And even then, Lord, what I did is that I followed you. You know, I kept going. And you were with me and things began to go well. But then again, this woman accuses me of something I didn't do, and I end up in prison. And Lord, you know, you were with me even then. And maybe you provided opportunities for me to do stuff. And then after that, after all that, when I help other people and ask them to remember me, they completely forget, and I'm still here in prison. If you think about the Joseph story, so much of it is bad. So much of it is things just going wrong and not working well. And I have to be honest and say that if I was in Joseph's position, I'd have given up a long time ago. I'd have told God, God, this just isn't fair. Like, how can I tell people about how great you are or how wonderful you are when I look at my own life and see everything falling apart? Doing my best to serve you and follow you and nothing at all is working. I'd have told God that I've had enough, that this isn't gonna work for me at all, that I can't follow you anymore. But Joseph doesn't. Joseph keeps going and eventually, it said that he becomes the second power in the land after Pharaoh. And not only that, but he saves his family's life, those very people who would have been happy to kill him or sell him into slavery. Joseph helps them to live properly. And I think there's something that we can learn from the Joseph story that we don't often think about. And it's firstly this. Joseph's story isn't really about what God did for Joseph, but that Joseph was willing to hold on to God. Because I think there's so many ways in which Joseph's story could have ended up being a tragedy. Ended up being someone who once had strong faith in God, once followed God, but because of the circumstances and situations in life, just gave up. Decided that if God was God, he would do better for them than this. But Joseph didn't. Because I think Joseph understood that the only difference between a tragedy and a testimony is your willingness to continue. Your willingness to keep going your willingness to keep trusting God and keep believing that he is doing the best for you when it seems like the exact opposite. That he will be there to help and to provide and that he cares even when things aren't working as you want them to be. That's what being a Christian is about. That's what following God is about. Believing that he knows best and that he's doing the best. And even when everything is falling apart, trusting him to know that he is working all things out 
not only for your good, but maybe he's taking you through this because there's some people that he wants you to help him save. Some people that he wants you to help bring closer to him. Some people that need to see the difference that a belief in God can make and how it can help you get through any situation.